everyone and welcome to your reading of the Rose Tarricles. My name is Rose and today we'll be doing a reading for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius for the month of December this 2021. During this reading, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading, it may not resonate with you 100% okay. If this is the case, please take a look at your moon, rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message spirit is guiding you towards. If you wish to contact me, all my details are in the description box below. Before we start, I would like to thank God, Source, the Universe, all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light for guiding me to share my gifts with you all. If you like your readings, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. So Sagittarius, let's get started. We'll be doing the same format of uh, readings that we've done for the rest of the zodiacs yes we'll do the tarot followed by the oracle cards So what I can see here, darling, you're going through a period of heartbreak and pain. Yes, you're in a bit of a mental anguish. You're in a, a state that um, you feel as though you have been uh, <laughs> you have been put in a situation which is very, very uh, tormenting, right? Um, you could also be a bit of um, at the moment, your mind, mind could be a bit muddled, yes. Um, whatever decisions you need to make is a bit clouded, so you're not able to make a decision at the moment. Yes, you feel a bit, um, you, you feel exhausted actually, because you feel as though you've been doing a lot of work. So there's been a lot of mental stress, uh, mental anguish that you've been going through and it's starting to show on your physical side, yes. It's starting to show on your face, um, you're starting to show uh, in your pain, probably you have some kind of body pain, yeah, so be careful of all that, yes, and take care of your health first, yeah, before investing your time and energy into anything else, right, so it feels as though you've been carrying the burden of this relationship onto you, on your shoulders, yes, and you feel as though your person has not been putting in the work but whatever it is it is coming to an end because you're wanting to move forward you want to go towards something new yeah you're moving along steadily but slowly yes um, you probably start planning to do something on the world wide web or um, planning to do something on social media channels whatever is available Facebook Instagram YouTube TikTok, snapchat yes all the stuff you're planning to do something online yeah that could perhaps go viral yes um, you are wanting to distract your mind actually from anything to do with the past you're not interested with anything to do with the past of any relationships situationships any incidents to do with the past yes you wanted to move forward wholeheartedly and you're not leaving any stones unturned you're attaining your balance actually emotionally spiritually yeah mentally as you move along yes and i can see you will be moving along um towards a brighter future actually you're not taking any odd opportunities that are coming your way you are being very selective with yourself and the opportunities and the people that you allow into your life okay so that's very good that's a very mature way of looking at things because you're not going to the real reason you're being that way is that you do not want to make the same old mistakes or repeat the same old mistakes in your life ever again. Yes, you may have uh, seen a pattern with yourself, so you may have recognized it, and that was the best thing you could have done because that could have revealed a lot to you. Yes, and uh, that is also aiding you and helping you in your movement forward in a very hopeful and wholesome manner. So I can see over here clearly you are identifying areas of your life that needs improvement on. You are uh, perhaps uh, 
letting go of any partnerships that were toxic and that were not serving you any good yes you're not willing to invest in anything that was uh, of no good to you yes and you're moving forward from you i can see you are concentrating on your home on your stability on your security so basically you're looking for a way to earn your living yes and you are very successful at it from what i can see as well you're very compassionate very nurturing and you are building on a legacy you're building on your future yes you have made up your mind that um, you do not want to waste any time dwelling in the past dwelling in negativity yeah or dwelling in any kind of toxicity or think of any codependent relationship of the past you're cutting all energetic ties and everything else to go along with it in order to move forward and this is in fact propelling you forward towards your stability you're building on your future you're building on a dream you're building on something that is going to bring bring in a lot of fortune towards you yes and it's looking very good you're letting go of any kind of conflicts you're being very secretive you're being very guarded with yourself yes you're not listening to anybody's um, Uh, you're not listening to any naysayers who are not supporting you in this journey ahead and you're just discarding them off your life okay there may be a lot of uh, heated arguments that you may have gone through in the past which you do not wish to repeat every time you think about the past you think only about the negative side because um from what i can see over here you may think that there was more of uh conflicts and there was anything else yeah so you all didn't have much time to really understand each other because most of the time perhaps was spent in the relationship arguing with each other because of uh immense differences in both of you right so i can see you will be moving ahead and away from this if you were in any kind of relationship that was not serving you whether it's with family friends or lovers yes you will be leaving it all behind and you will be moving forward towards your happiness towards self fulfillment yeah you have a, you have a wish you have a dream that you're working on you're moving ahead on it and it's proving to be very successful now let's move forward and see what's happening yes you somebody over here i can see is wanting to come back towards you they are trying to drop the drop the guards down a little bit yes and to open up uh, and to be a bit re reasonable but i don't see you see any hope in that situation because you feel that person is full of conflicts chaos and drama and you do not wish to invite them in your life anymore or keep any door open for them either yeah because you know they have not changed it will be the same old story and you do not wish to repeat the same old story again this person could be spying on you they could be keeping an eye on you they could be watching your social media they could be uh you know if they live nearby they could be driving by your house and taking a look if your door is open or if you've been you know <laughs> if you are with anyone else etc etc they feel like uh, you feel as though you're waiting on them for a long time you've given them the chance you you've been patient with them but you see there's no change and you see there's no point moving ahead in that situation at all yes they feel as though uh if they wait on you to cool down a bit perhaps they feel you're a bit angry at them at the moment so they feel as though if they give you some time to cool down a bit things could get better and perhaps you could you know get back together again but uh, i think you're making a final judgment in uh, moving forward but this person of yours is hoping for a reconciliation that is something that you do not want to do yes at this moment in time because you know there has not been any changes in this person from the past few chances that you may have given them and you do not see any hope you do not see any hope in the situation with this person going ahead yes um the person you're dealing with could be suff suffering from some kind of anxiety yes stress because they feel your energy leaving them and they feel you moving forward and leaving them behind and leave moving ahead right so they feel some kind of anxiety now that you are leaving them behind okay mm, well the reason you're leaving them behind because they didn't make any efforts to make things right or to be clear in what they want from you or to clear out this uh, negativity that and drama and chaos that they were bring into your life yes they should have understood that what they were bring into your life was not conducive to us uh, uh you know building a future together it would just uh bring you down right so it was not productive really in any way so uh they could have they could be coming to some kind of realizations perhaps you know and um, they can see you moving on and ahead yes towards your future you're going you have a very go getter attitude you have come a long way and you are 
pursuing your dreams in order to achieve what you set yourself out to do. Now, uh, let's see what your energy is like. I can see this person of yours often thinks about the past and thinks about the good times, but you know, there is no effort, no real effort, you know, committed effort to make things correct or, you know, to reach a compromise wherein you can say, okay, fine, you know, let's reach this resolution, but uh, uh, it's a bit of a um, clashing of heads, really. So you're leaving it behind, you are not interested interested in anymore i think your energy you just pulled your energy out because you have better things to take care of in life than to baby somebody isn't it so let's see let's see what's coming out for you you have daughter value the world and angel of strength so uh, you have some lovely cards very lovely cards over here, yeah, that's, uh, your energy is looking uh, positive, yes, because you've realized your worth, basically, and you're not willing to compromise yourself for a person who is not worthy of your time, and not worthy of your love, and not worthy of your effort, right? So you're realizing your worth, and you're uh, moving ahead in your truth, because you're feeling stable within yourself, right? So this internal balance has been achieved within emotional balance has been achieved within you okay you are also looking at what else is out there you are not holding yourself back you are spreading the word you are moving forward and you probably probably are also looking forward to dating new people or if not investing in love you are investing in yourself investing in your dreams yeah you're taking up something that is bringing you a lot of happiness and a lot of joy it's igniting your passion and you're going for it yes so it's probably if it's a project a creative idea um or if it is as simple as you're applying for a job you want that particular job you are going to get it and it's going to be successful yeah it's looking very very positive the it's calling upon you to persevere and to go ahead keep doing what you're doing and you will see the results very soon yeah your hard work is going to pay off yes you have the strength within you yes it says here let your friends help you says the romance angels ask for ask for and accept support from others so there are people around you who are uh, you know able to be of help to you probably it's your friends probably it's just so a few people that you meet along the way right they could guide you along the way you know, help you network with your work and stuff like that yes yeah, so whatever it is if you're getting help from people be open to receive the help that you get okay because it's being sent from the universe people are put onto your path at the moment in time to help you out with certain things yes Divine t timing is at work in your love life, says the romance angels. So everything is happening in divine timing. You can feel things working like clockwork, yes, in your life. And uh, things just seem to be falling into place. So you're uh, in recognition that things are happening for a reason, okay? So you're going to meet somebody, yes, who is going to be sharing a very special bond with you coming up in the future it could be a past life soulmate relationship yeah it could be a very strong bond that you could share with somebody and you will feel the intense intensity of that um, connection immediately yes yeah, so um, by releasing the past you're moving towards the future and this opening is causing new energy to come in and is bringing in a soulmate for you as well let's see the overall energy of your reading darling says the fool so you are taking the leap forward yes and two cards fellow uh, so we can see over here you are taking the leap forward towards your future yes you're making peace with your past as we can see here you're being true to yourself and you're moving forward you're exercising a lot of 
strength, a lot of courage, a lot of perseverance, and this is bearing fruits for you and positive results coming towards you in your future. Right? And this in turn is bringing in the person who is meant to be with you. This could be a past life soulmate connection, and you'll feel the intense bond with this person that is coming next into your life. Right? Let's see what the Soul's Journey card has to say to you. Ooh. Growth and judgment. So, it says here, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So you're becoming very consciously aware of the things that's happening in your life and you know it's just a matter of time that you will see the results in your life, yes? Uh, it's kind of like growing pains and you're, you're recognizing, yes, all this is for the betterment for yourself in your future. Now let's see what Archangel Michael has to say to you. Archangel Michael says, detach from the situation okay you're being advised to detach from the situation of the past but i can see you are already detaching from it and moving away from it yes so please say this prayer with archangel michael archangel michael i ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that i may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and in the situation <clears throat> so that's a lo lovely message from Archangel Michael straight simple and direct yes let's see what signs you could have been dealing with talents you're gonna be dealing with Capricorn the Virgo, sorry, the card has flown away, dealing with the Leo, Libra Gemini or Pisces so you could be dealing with any of these signs or any of these signs could be prominent in your person's chart. So that was your reading, Sagittarius, for the month of December 2021. Just a small announcement, yes, uh, on the 24th of December, as you all know, it's my birthday, I'm a Christmas baby. I will be making an, an announcement for the year of 2022 about uh, the products as well as about the tarot readings, the Rose Tarot Cool. So stay tuned in for that day if you are available, yeah. Uh, to look at your phone and to look at uh, all the computer <laughs> or to look at YouTube, yes. And if you're not busy with family and friends, uh, do tune in. All right, and I'll be making announcements. We'll have a lot of fun. And uh, uh, I wish you all happy holidays. I wish you loads of fun, loads of happiness, loads of joy. Yes, have fun, enjoy yourself, have a blast, darlings. Yes, until we meet again next time for your next reading in 2022. Yes, I love you all. Take care and God bless.